Hi, my name is Johan, and in this video we'll have a look at how we can do some simple interactions with the Mapbox module in a Noodle project. In the previous video we set up the Mapbox module, and this is a continuation of where we left off in that video. In this video we'll build a small information panel that we can use to show information, and we'll also control when the panel is shown so that it disappears when we're panning around in the map. Let's get started. First, let me just make a bit of space here and then get rid of this text note that we no longer will be needing. Next, I'm going to add a group and this is going to become my panel. So I'll name it pop-up panel so I know what it is. We will need to style it a bit since I want it to appear on top of the map, not underneath as it currently is. So the first thing I will change is the position to be absolute. I want this panel to be vertically center aligned and also bottom aligned. Next let's give it a fixed size in pixels, 300 pixels wide and 100 pixels in height. Okay, so I can't see my panel, and that's because as default groups have a transparent background. So let's set the background to white so that we can see the panel on the map. And on our way to the background color, let's also give it 20 pixels bottom margin, and then that white background. And there it is. I think it's slightly too close to the bottom, so I'm going to increase the margin a bit, maybe to 30 pixels. Thirty pixels, I said. Nice. But it can be nicer, so let's round those corners. And let's add a border, maybe dark gray, and some shadow would also be nice. Okay, so that's the panel. Now let's add two text nodes inside the panel so that we can show some relevant information. They're a bit close to the edge of the panel, so let's give the panel group some padding, like this. Now I want this first text node to show longitude, and the second one latitude, so I'm going to name the nodes appropriately. Alright, so whenever I click on the map, I want to show the longitude and latitude for that point. And we can get that info from the Mapbox map node, so let's make some connections. Oops, that's the wrong node. Okay, so now from the Mapbox node to the longitude text node. Here, it's important that you select the longitude from the map clicked section. The longitude from the coordinate section holds the current panning position of the map. Then let's repeat for the latitude, again being careful to select the latitude from the map clicked section. Let's test it. So as I click around on the map, the panel shows me the coordinates for where I clicked. Pretty neat. Next, I want to hide the panel when I'm panning around on the map. And to do that, I'm going to use a states node. There'll be two states, one that I will call off screen and one that I will call on screen. So depending on the state, I want to control the panel's Y position. So I'll add a value for that and it should be a number. Then, when the panel is off screen, it should be pushed down. And the height of the panel is 100 pixels. So let's try with maybe 120 as the value for off screen. And then it should be in its original place when it's on screen, which will be zero. The map box map gives out a few different signals. And one signal is when the map is moving, aka the user panning it around. So let's connect that to off screen and then the map click signal should show the panel again so it will go to the on screen state. 
Now let's connect the Y position value from the states node to the position Y value of the pop-up panel group. And it's way down here. Okay, cool. And now let's try it. So it seems like you can see the top edge of the panel even when it's in the off-screen state. So let's increase the Y position value to something like 130. And there you have it. Now it works as I want. And there we have some simple interactions with the Mapbox map. In the next video, we will work with markers on the map and see how we can add, delete, and show the correct info. Hope to see you there. Happy noodling.